Congratulations, you found a house you wanna buy. But how do you write an offer while protecting yourself and making sure there's zero risk to you as the buyer? Let's get into it. So before we write our offer, we on our end are doing our due diligence to make sure that all the information that's listed about the house is actually accurate. The data that you're looking at is only as good as what's entered in there. So I wanna make sure that we're verifying all the information about the house with the county records so that you know exactly what it is you're buying and you're not relying on someone else's information. All the contracts these days pretty much are written on the as is with right to inspect form. So what that means is you're agreeing to buy the property in the as is condition, but you get the chance to have an inspection on the property. So the inspection period, typically in South Florida, it's negotiated on every contract, but typically what we're seeing is about 10 days for an inspection period. Now, the way the contract is worded at the buyer's sole discretion for any reason whatsoever during your inspection period, you can back out of the contract. So you could get cold feet, you could find another house, you could just change your mind. Whatever the, the reason is, if you wanna back out, you have those first 10 days to completely change your mind risk-free. There is no charge, no penalty for you for doing that. Writing an offer on a property is free. There's no charge. So if you like a house and you could see yourself living in there, we encourage you to write an offer to the seller, see what they come back at as far as a counter offer because you never know what they're gonna say. Writing offers is like dating. The worst thing they can say is no. Now in a competitive marketplace, you might lose out by writing lowball offers. So let's make sure we're doing our due diligence upfront. We're looking at what the recent sales are in that neighborhood. We're figuring out what a fair price would be for that house. And then we're structuring our offer slightly below that to try to negotiate. But you don't wanna come in too low and offend the seller and risk losing the property to someone else who came in with a stronger offer. Now, when we write our offer, you are writing the terms of the offer. So you're writing you know what day you want to close typically a closing in our area is somewhere between 30 and 60 days most sellers want to sell this property and buy something else unless the home is vacant so having a really really long closing 90 120 days isn't very typical because everyone else needs to make their life decisions too so 30 to 60 days is about what you can expect for a closing date you can also write in your offer and you can ask the seller to pay for some of your closing costs now, depending on the neighborhood and the price range, this may or may not be typical. You have to remember as a buyer that if the seller's paying your closing costs, that's you know, reducing the amount of money that they're going to get from their sale. So you have to make sure that the offer kind of reflects fair market value net of any selling concessions. So we'll have that kind of conversation, but it is possible to have the seller pay for some of your closing costs. So that's it for writing an offer. Stay tuned for our next video.